In today's video, I was sent a brand new custom mystery bag. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery pack opening where we have the brand new Grandpa's Card Corner Mystery Booster Packs Volume 1. So we recently did another mystery pack that he had. This is called Volume 1, but I think these are the ones where instead of packs, it has cards inside. And I know in the last video we did with Card Breaker, I believe his mystery packs, some people were not fans of the ones where it's inserted cards versus packs. I see where you're coming from on that. I personally prefer the booster packs as well. The cool part about Grandpa's Card Corner is he has both. He has the ones with booster packs and with cards. So if you like to get the single cards where you can go for a big hit, or if you like getting those booster packs to open up and maybe pull something yourself he has both options he sent me these i did not pay for these so keep in mind uh because they're hand inserted you know anything can be manipulated all that different stuff i have no control over that because he knows it's going to be on a video i know people will think that he sent me you know better cards i don't know if he did or not i just know he sent them to me so i'm going to open them up and see what we can get inside there is some really nice cool stuff that comes with this uh this isn't i mean necessarily cool but like a little flyer here so this is grandpa's card corner on ebay and on instagram i have known him for a while at this point um, so I seems to be a trustworthy guy, but I, as I said, I'm not like affiliated in any way. Did you know that aside from singles and sealed? And yeah, he did both the mini, mini booster box, which had the actual box, which was really cool. And the packs, uh, thank you for your order. Feedback is important. So here you can go straight to Instagram. Nice QR code right there. Then we see the more interesting thing, which is grandpa's card corner mystery mini booster box. This looks like the one from the box one so i'm confused about why this is in here I, maybe this is just a promo for that because like here's the one talking about five comments four foil rarity one secret or higher and then on the back this looks like this looks like the selection from the booster back one so i don't know if that has any relevance to this like maybe yeah that's talking about the other one the mr mini booster box which is real i mean i just love how this looks it looks really clean so well done on that doesn't really relate to this opening though. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this collector rare mystical space typhoon from Rarity Collection 2. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think about these mystery packs? And I know you guys will let me know anyway. So just let's get, let's just get to the opening, see what's inside. All right, and I did throw in a, I have a couple other packs we're gonna open as we go, just so we have some stuff going on besides just the mystery packs. We're gonna open a few cool packs. So to start off, let's open up this OTS 22 pack before we hop into it and see what we can pull. Ultimate rare, obviously, or bust is what we want. So, I mean, super rare, there's some good ones in there. I think it's usually super on the front. So I'm going to do this. To, oh, the Titanic Moth. My great Moth. The Synchro. And Galaxy 100. So starting it off, nothing too crazy. That's okay. Grandpa's Card Corner. Let's see what you gave us inside. So the thing, yeah, I, I agree with some of the commenters with packs like this. The thing that there is always a little concern. I mean, not with me because he sent them to me for free. But like if you're buying these that it was handmade by the creator of the pack. You know what I mean? I understand there is some concern about that because it's like they could literally put whatever they want in there. You just kind of have to trust that the ratios that they put, he didn't really post any ratios. So I didn't, at least I didn't see, is there any ratios? I mean, he gives you like this, but it doesn't say like best pulls and like you get one in every 20 or whatever, you get something. So you just kind of are in the dark about what he did. It's like, maybe he made him good, maybe he didn't. And there is some concern about that. I totally understand why people don't love these as much as the pack ones, because at least the packs, you know, it's either like you get a good pack or you don't, but if you open it, you can always get the best card, etc. So um, this is double sleep. Very cool. Let's see if I can, or is it? Maybe it's in a team bag. Nope, double sleep. Okay, here we go. So we get uh, Pendulum Treasure, a Barian Utopia. We have Snake, True King Lithogem, the Disaster. Wait, why were the Supers first? Oh, no, they're, they're back and forth. So we've got Super, Rare, Super, Rare. And those might have been guaranteed Supers. So maybe that's when we get to the good stuff. We have Escatos. Artemis, one of my favorite cards from uh, Alistair the Invoker. I'm not from Alistair, but you know what I mean. Uh, Harvey's Featherstorm. Fossil Dig. Cool cards. So these are all super so far. Ooh, a Firewall Dragon. QCR from, I think, is this rare? No, this is, oh yeah, the the, uh, the 10. Okay, so 10 promo. So yeah, QCR, but you know, not like a huge QCR or anything. So very cool looking card to start off. So what, what did it say again? Four foil rarity, one secret or higher. So the foil rarity are Fossil Dig, Harvey's Featherstorm, a, we got five foil rarity, four commons. These count as commons, even though they're rares. So we got a bonus foil. The thing is these supers for the most part are not like big ones, like rarity collection supers, you know? So nothing crazy, but I, I mean, I didn't expect a lot out of those, but just gonna observe what we see as we go. All right, Phantom Nightmare, next. Two, three, four. We have Raid Raptor Roost. We have White Reincarnation. 
Radiance, Earthbound Fusion, Three-Eyed Ghost, Vaganawa, we have Summoning Beast, Dramatic Snake Eye, and the Enigmaster Packbit. I don't really like that name. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of that name. It just feels a little wrong. There's a secret rare, though. That is not guaranteed. I'll take that. Let's do the next mystery pack. So, so far, we got a uh, quarter century, which is not bad. So, you're guaranteed to get a secret or higher. Quarter century is a secret of, of some kind. So, and it's definitely higher. Okay, next one. They are, uh, they're packaged pretty well. They're coming the uh, card saver and everything. The only thing is when you get too many cards in a card saver, I always feel a little bit weird about that, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's damaging or anything. It's probably fine. It's really, the thing about packaging mystery packs is it's really hard to like get a cheap but effective process. So I, I totally get that. Uh, firefighting drama. We have uh, guy prominence, Bay Rock Dragon. We have Celestial Apparatus Tessia. Cloning, very nice. The Dragonlark Perrin, Abuse Keeper, Abuse Keeper, Abuse, Abyss, Abyss Keeper, not a bit, not a bit, man, I can't talk, Abyss Keeper, there we go, Vendred Scavenger, oh, and an Ultimate Rare, Lucky Iron Axe, that's pretty lucky, Ultimate Rare from Force of the Breaker, this is not a huge card in terms of value, but an Ultimate Rare, I think anybody's gonna be pretty happy pulling one of those, so that's pretty cool, it's interesting, because like, I'm wondering, because so far we've gotten a QCR and an Ultimate, so we've gotten two high rarity cards, though they are not crazy expensive. It would be kind of cool if like you did a pack and it's like guaranteed ultimate rare, QCR, collector, something like that. Cause there are a lot of cheap options now. So to like, you know, there could be cheaper stuff in there, but also like big stuff. So then you're never getting just a, a secret rare or whatever. That could be interesting. I'm personally, I don't think I'm, I, I'm not, I don't want to say never, but I don't think I'm going to delve into the single card mystery packs the ones with packs are already hard enough because because it's impossible to please everybody uh it's already hard enough to do that so i personally am not like a planning i'm not planning on making any ones where i, I create the packs myself but i'm glad to open other people's for sure it makes great content and you guys can decide whether or not you think it's worth it or not and then you guys can go buy it i don't have any affiliate link or anything with this this is just a, a guy that i know sent it to me and we're opening up for a video. So keep that in mind. We have Giant Starfall. We have a Rux and Special. Heat Soul Secret Rare. Okay. So wait, Rarity 1. I kind of forgot that was in there. That's a pretty card. Rarity, man. Rarity 1 had some nice cards. That's a Necro. We have Okio. Oh, I don't know what that said. Okay. Speaking up. Oh, two Ultimate Rares. This is what I was talking about so far. Basically, just like putting those cheaper ones so you at least get something. These are both 10 promos, I believe. So they're not expensive at all. Like these are under a dollar for ultimate rares, but they're two ultimate rares in a pack. So it's like, it's kind of like rarity collection. You don't always make your money back, but it feels cool when you get something like that. You get an ultimate rare. So, okay. I like what they're doing so far. We'll see if you can get like a, just a basic secret or something like that as we go. Let's do four from the back on power of the elements. Sprite Pixies, Nemesis Elephant. Double Dust Tornado, we have Havnus, Vanguard, Vernislift, Sprite Smashers, and Avendred Scavenger. All right, very nice. We still, man, there's a lot left because we got 10 of these mystery packs. So this could be, could be some good stuff in here. I don't know what, I mean, there's no like list of the top hits. I do like when they do that. So you at least know like what you're chasing. The cool part about this one is it's even more mysterious, kind of like a mystery pack. You have no idea what you're getting. Like could really be anything. The White Baking, I literally just bought this on as my buddy on, or, my buddy that's not the right word on master duel what is it it's your uh like i not your icon but what is it what's the word i don't know but i just got it on master duel okay because i was recording uh some master duel duels with uh head-to-head -head battles so that's very cool so go check out their channel and you'll see me on there eventually uh emr ice barrier super rare we have danger jackalope ghost trick angel mischief and oh enlightenment paladin another 10 promo so consistent with the 10 promos very nice a very cool card I'm guessing pretty low value on that one. That's kind of been the, the theme so far. High rarity, but not crazy value or anything like that. Let, let's go LOB. The price on these, I'm going to try to put this up on the screen because I didn't look it up ahead of time because I have uh, I had to record this a little bit quicker. You know, I didn't have as much time to prepare for it as I, was, as I would like. Um, so I'll put it up on the screen afterwards. My editor will. So remind me, remind me you're editing to send it to you. And then I will figure out the price of this. Let's go back to the mystery pack. Give us something crazy. All right, what is inside? We have the Stay Sailor Romarin. Will we pull something cool? So, so far it's been all quarter centuries or ultis, which is pretty dope. That's awesome to get that in every pack. Spendable die. I don't know the price, so it's, I mean, it would help a little bit knowing the price, Decoy Talker Heat Soul. Uh, the last, here's the thing. The last time his other one was about 30. I'm guessing these are not 30 a piece because these are just basically one pack. So I'm guessing these are like, cheap cheap you know they're, they're probably five ten 
15, something like somewhere in that range. Probably not five. That'd be really low. Uh, Exodia, the Forbidden One. That's another 10 promo. So a lot of 10 promos so far. So I like 10 promos as much as the next guy, but a lot of 10 promos. Exodia is a good one, though. So that's pretty nice. All right. Another LOB pack. Here we go. Can we pull it? One, two, three. All right. Mammoth Graveyard. Hinotama Soul. Basic Insect. King Fog. Remove Trap. Silver Bow and Arrow. Beast Fangs. Spare of the Heart. And a man eater bug. All right, not a bad pull. Take that. Okay, I figured I want to finish this video without knowing the price while we're going through. Okay, I just looked it up. These are okay. There are some of the pulls on here, so this will help. Maybe I can share some of this on the screen uh, as we go. But there's some of the pulls if you go through the eBay listing. So magician uh, bonds and unities in here. By the way, these are six dollars. No, sorry, six pounds. Six point two five pounds. How do you say that? Six pounds twenty five. What's the small version? Pence. Is that, is that euro? I don't know. Whatever that is, 6.25 pounds, okay? So really cheap. And then if you buy multiple, you can even get less. So two is 613, 594 for three. So you can get under $6. So these are actually like, the pricing on them is really good. So I like that. I mean, they're barely more than a regular booster pack. So that's good. They're not like 20 bucks or something crazy like that. Uh, the pulls I'm looking, I'm seeing itemized Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare. You guys, you guys, I will have this up on the screen so you guys can see it. A bunch of ultis are in here. Gay Guardian Collector Rare. I'm trying to look for the biggest pull I'm seeing is the Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl. The pulls are, you know, there's some decent stuff in here. There's nothing like, there's not like a Ghost Rare Stardust or anything like that. So keep that in mind. But I mean, six dollars so or six pounds, I should say. I finally figured out how to tell the difference between those two. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can pull. Now that we know it's six twenty five pounds, let's see if that changed our opinion on them at all. Um, not that I didn't really like them at all, but I wasn't saying I hate them or anything. But not there's six twenty five. It feels I mean, the price he just does really well with pricing. It makes it really affordable. So, oh, a dark magician from legendary collection one. That's just a promo. So nothing crazy. But I mean, we'll take those as the bulk. We have a red eyes black dragon and an odd eyes pendulum. Okay, I will say there are a lot of the same kind of thing. So it it is a lot of 25th anniversary tins and stuff like that. Uh, so that is a little bit something. So, I mean, it's, the price is so low, but like, it's not extremely exciting to get a 10 promo as your big hit. You know what I mean? If you get like the Exodia or something, it's great. But if you get Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon or you get Enlightenment Paladin, it's a little bit, eh, you know, it's, it's kind of iffy. So... Let's see, but I mean, for six bucks, I mean, what did you lose there? You lost a couple bucks. That was so not really too crazy. I mean, you're why won't this open? Why won't this open? All right, this thing is uh, not operating as intended. That interrupted my thought. That's fine. We'll get this open. There's plenty of room to cut with the scissors. All right, next up, we've got the Photon Saber Tigre. Tigre. Let's see what we can get. Light Law Medium. We have AI Meet You. May I Meet You? We have Reasoning. Protections. Slifer, I got a burp right in the middle of that. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Why does this look so dark? I thought this might have been a YMA version for a second. Okay, we have Obelisk. Okay, we got, I think we got another 10 promo. <laughs> okay. Okay, 10 promo. I mean, I've said my, I've said what I thought about that. Um, Yeah, that, this is a lot of 10 promos. It's a lot of 10 promos. Uh, The cool thing is, you know, QCR shiny cardboard is good, Uh, but we still got three more chances. Let's see. I think we've had five 10 promos and two ult, and then the double ulti promo one, and then an ulti lucky iron axe. Uh, we'll have it. We'll have a running counter as well as we go to see like how much we make back. Uh, This one, you can actually do it because normally you can't do it mystery packs because it it's about the sealed value. There's no sealed value. It's all about the card. So we can kind of see you're still not going to make your money back as a booster pack. That's just how it works. And he wouldn't be selling them at a loss. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. But uh, sell them in Great Blaze Dragon. Um, a 10 promo. OK, two left. Let's see what we can get. Overall, I, these are definitely so far. I don't like them as much as the other ones, for sure. The other ones I really liked. I thought they were really, really good. These are not they're not bad. Like, it's not like they're bad. They're so cheap that it's like you know, there's a chance that a Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl for $6. I mean, I guess you could just buy Ghost from the Past if you wanted to do that. But Ghost from the Past also has nothing in it. It only has Ghost Rare. So this, you could argue that it's a little better because you have some other things. But so far, it's been a lot of 10 promos, uh, which is not exactly the most exciting thing. Let's see. Oh, we got another one. A 10 promo. Okay, so at this rate, we either got a clump of something or there's just way too many 10 promos in here. One of the two. Uh, I don't know, but you can take that as constructive feedback for next time. Constructive criticism, whatever you want to call it. The interesting thing is like, the bummer is we're not pulling any Stardust or we did pull Exodia. We didn't pull Stardust, Black Arts. We're pulling Deco Talker. That's pretty rough. 
Last pack right here. This is our last chance. Let's not get a 10 promo right here, everybody. Let's try that. Okay, Destiny Hero Denier. We have Aerial Picks 3, Sunmine Sewing, One Curry Way, Cyanide Cascade, Kotalker Inverted, Junk Speeder, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, and... Okay, Blackwing Armor Master. Okay, so this is another 10 promo. Overall, how do I feel about these? So first, I loved his first one, the mystery box of the packs. As I've already said, I prefer the packs inside versus the single cards. And it's really easy to like, I know it's really easy to criticize them. So I don't want to be like super negative because I know when you're making a mystery pack like this, it can be really hard to make them good. But personally, I am not a huge fan of these that I, I specifically opened. The good thing is it seemed like he didn't load them or anything like that. He said, I know, checked the message, he put one and four was a hit. I don't really know what cons is considered a hit though, but I'm guessing a 10 promo is not a hit. So maybe that was the ultis we got, but one some of the ultis were not crazy. So overall, not my favorite mystery pack, but I can see where he's headed and I like the price that it's low. That, I'm a big fan of that. I like the idea where it's coming from. I'm not saying that it's like the worst mystery pack ever. And by the way, this is only 10 packs. So if I had gotten like, you know, a big ghost rare, then it would have changed everything. And that's kind of how these work. So we didn't hit anything huge. So it doesn't feel as good when you open it. That's just kind of how mystery packs are. So I don't want to like be really negative about this because I don't think it's a terrible mystery pack. I just don't like it as much as this first one. But if you do think you would like it, you can go check it out. I'm not affiliated with this at all, but I just wanted to make a video and open them up. So thanks again to Grandpa's Card Corner for sending them to me. It was really fun. And uh, we'll see if he comes out with a number two or anything like that. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.